Hello you guys and welcome to my channel. Many of you that may not know me, my name is Michaela. I'm 22, I'm from Louisiana. And today I'll be doing a quick hygiene routine and give you tips on what you can use and what you can possibly do every day. First things first, when you do take a shower, you can either use a bar of soap, which is by the Dove Sensitive Skin. I normally go in with a bar of soap first to make me feel clean and moisturized. Or I also use the Dove Sensitive Skin. These are the same things. I don't know if you can see it, but this is the Instant Foaming Body Wash. And then this is the Dove Sensitive Skin. This is the Exfoliant. But yeah, that's the exfoliant. So both of these are pretty good and the bar just like this with this label on there. I like using both of them because sometimes like it just depends different parts of the years. I do get like my skin changes like it goes from rough to soft. It just depends on what type of season. Like in the summer, it tends to be more dry. So for my sensitive skin users, I do recommend you try the dub. You can also use a vino. This is the Skin Relief Body Wash. This is for like sensitive skin or troubled skin. This is basically like, this is basically unscented as well. It's just unscented where you can just use it every day. It won't irritate your skin and it has oaks in it. And normally oaks help soothe your skin if you have like problem skin and that's a vino. But on the days that I do go out or I want to smell good, fresh, or like run to the store, or just feel more confident. Basically, I use the, I use, I go in with the body wash and a lotion. Now this is Bath and Body Works, but you can do it with any name brand or brand that has the body wash and the lotion. It's good to use the same type of things, basically, so you won't get like, why would you mix something that smells like, you know lavender or cotton with something that's fruity so I always stick with like something that smells just like the other thing or something that does correlate with whatever body wash you use now this body wash here this is midsummer dream I don't know if you can see it that's midsummer dream and this is by Bath and Body Works it smells pretty good let's see it has aloe and vitamin E and it's also dermatologist tested so I had I do have sensitive skin but you know the newer line that they do have it seems to be much better I guess because people have been complaining about how Bath and Body Works has like this thing where it breaks out a lot of people but this stuff it, it it's pretty good this one has salted pear fresh nectarine and seaside lily in it and it smells really good and if you want to spend more on your you know products and you want something more natural like that has more natural ingredients I do recommend that you use something like Ancient Cosmetics it's a brand I recently found out about and it's like made out of all natural products like it shows the ingredients on there probably can't see it but the ingredients it has a list of everything in there so you know what you're actually putting in your body they also have like different oils I have the oil that goes with this as well and this is the body butter and this is the body wash now for this stuff you will need a, a poof instead of a washcloth on the other things such as the dove or the Bath and Body Works I do recommend you use like a cheap washcloth like say from Walmart those are the best ones to use because it does also exfoliate your skin the body washes that you do find at like Walmart or the drugstore or your family dollar store or any store nearby you probably find the Dove and it's more price efficient than if you bought something that was more natural and herbal as opposed to ancient cosmetics but they do have sales so watch out for the sales too like if you want something really good that's good for your skin try to catch the sale and maybe you can buy it in bulk or buy it all at one time I do recommend you do that as well now moving on you can use a body scrub after the body wash if I would say do that like one time a week or twice a week it just depends on how rough your skin is and you know it's always good to exfoliate that dead skin away I do recommend you use an exfoliating glove my favorite exfoliant is this by Dr. Tills. I'm gonna hold it up. 
Now, Dr. Tills, this is my first time trying this. I had the Sleep Dr. Tills lotions. It works pretty good. This has essential oils in it. And it has, it's the Cannabis Sativa Hemp Seed Oil with essential oils. Now, this makes you feel, like, relaxed. Like, after using this, you'd probably be ready to go to bed. It makes your skin soft. Everything. Basically, this is for smooth skin, help calm your mind while shea butter, hemp seed oil, and avocado oil leave the skin moisturized. You can go on with Tree Hut as well. And this is the cotton candy kind. It smells like cotton candy, but it smells better. It don't smell like just candy. But it smells really sweet. It smells really good. I do recommend this one. Now once you have exfoliated, you can go in with some lotion or some body cream, anything to moisturize your skin. And you know, also you can go in with oils as well. I would do either the creams or the oils, not mixing both because you don't want your skin to be too, you know, filled up with products. You want to feel as clean and natural as you can. So after that, you also add your deodorant to something that sticks with you. So it just depends on your body type. Now there is different kinds people use, but I just like to opt to go to like Secret or Degree or Dove. Dove to me it really doesn't last long, especially the spray. But the ones like these, that's the you know the block, they do tend to last more longer. So I would prefer getting something like this as opposed to the and the moisturizing cream spray. This is a beauty finish, but this smells good too. But I mean, I really really like these. These last longer, but everyone's different. You may need to get something that will fit the strength of how you sweat. And also, when choosing any type of scents, like body wash, spray, anything, just choose something that will go with your body preference or your type. Like some people might like fresh and clean scents. Some people may like fruity scents, and other people may like masculine scents and you know some women like masculine scents and that's perfectly fine so after you're clean moisturized and everything you can go in with your favorite perfume to top it all off but you gotta do it as soon as you get out the shower and you know took care of your hygiene and everything so i'm gonna pick a spring scent since it is around the spring time it's this time so i'm gonna choose perfect by marc jacobs this is like one of my first scents and it smells really good. It lasts all day, I would say. It lasts you a whole day, say you go out and it just have you feeling fresh all day. Anything that just make you feel you and make you feel fresh, do it. The second one is Miss Dior. Every girl has to have one of these in their collection. Like it smells so good, it's fresh, it's neutral. Like if you don't like this, then like, I mean, there's other scents you can use that would go with you, your personality, or your scent preference. But this scent preference to me is sweet and it's sophisticated at the same time. Now, if you're on a budget, you can stick with the Dove or you can stick with, like, a little body spray. But just have something to keep you fresh. Any type of spray is fine. But this is from Bath & Body Works. It's more re on the reasonable end than the other perfumes I just recently showed. It's on a little higher end. For some people, some people may not want to spend that much money on it. And that's completely understandable. But this is In The Stars by Bath & Body Works. It smells really good. A lot of people compare it to Cloud. So this is separate, but some essential items that you can probably use for your face are things like Dickinson with Hazel. This is for like toning your face and it also clears out the impurities you may have. And along with that, you can use this as a combination too. This is not Clima. It's been around for years. So, I mean, you can't go wrong with this. It's pretty reasonable. Both of these together are pretty reasonable. And I do recommend using these. I use these daily and it keeps my face clear and feeling clean. Also, for my girls that wear makeup, easy removal. You can use this micellar cleansing water. It's pretty good. I like using my cellular cleansing water. Like if I have makeup, I get a cotton ball. And it's pretty reasonable. It's better than getting, you know, the face wipes sometimes. Sometimes if you want to get the makeup wipes, it is better as well. But I recommend these more because you. I feel like you get more use out of it because it is a liquid and you can only use like a little bit at a time. So it lasts me a long way. I had this bottle for a long time. Like, no joking. Also, for fun, I, I use this Revolution Skincare London 
Jake Jamie Feed Your Face Edition. It's like, do, do not, do not, not moisturize your face. But this is real good. Like, I use this once a week. But I also go along with Cetaphil. I don't have it with me right now. But Cetaphil is my go-to face wash as well. Makeup wipes. Walmart brand it is. These get the job done. You don't have to pay a ridiculous amount of price to wipe off makeup. All you need is, you know, something that's for, you know, makeup removal or the micellar water. It's up to you, whatever you want to do. That's it for you guys. I do plan to do another video with feminine hygiene. But if you do want me to do more videos or you recommend something, just drop it down in the comments. I'm going to list all of the products in the description. And thank you for watching, you guys. I'm going to consider you guys my friends. So also, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will get back with you.